Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs and for this review we are doing another viewer requested figure. I thought I reviewed this guy a while ago, but the viewer said I didn't and I didn't go look because I figured what the heck I'll do it again. Even if I did, because why not? So here he is. This is the Toy Biz Omega Red figure. And while he is technically not the best figure, I really like this guy. I don't know what it is. There's just something about it. It just feels right. It's a good Omega Red. That is not to say I wouldn't really love a new version, even if they used the uh, Sentry mold or Hyperion mold, I'd live with it because I really like Omega Red and I think they could do a good job with him if they tried, but then again the trying part is the issue. So let's take a look. He stands nearly 8 inches tall to the top of his head. If you count his ponytail he's a little taller. So he's definitely got the good size, just not quite the bulk. He's a little slender for Omega Red I think. Um, but it's still pretty good. He does have the tentacles. They are removable. These are the uh, Sentinel tentacles. They're the same mold if memory serves. It's been a while since I looked at either of them. Come on out of there. But I'm pretty sure they are. And they are nicely painted and the paint doesn't come off as far as I've ever seen. So that's good for a bendable piece. Sometimes the paint flakes. This one does not. It's got a nice dry brush and a wash going on I think. Maybe it's just silver with a black wash. It could be black with a gray or silver dry brush. Not sure. Uh, this part that's chipped off right here, that uh, that's from the person I bought it from. They ruined it. It didn't it didn't happen on its own, so you don't have to worry about that for yours. But they're super bendable and they're really nicely done, so that's cool. Only downside is he has these big holes in his forearms, and I'm pretty sure they don't come out of his forearms technically. But either way, it's still pretty cool. So this guy, I'm I think he shares some parts with the. Uh, the Sabertooth and the Venom that used this body. It looks like it. I'm not sure. I don't remember nipples on those guys, but maybe they had them. The nipples are a little weird, I think, but they're mostly hidden by this harness, so that's okay. And the fact that he reuses the mold a little bit is okay, too, because even though it's a little slim, it's still pretty bulky and looks good for him. The head sculpt is great. I love this head sculpt. I don't think it's perfect, necessarily, but it's pretty darn good. Lots of detail. The paint works there. I wish he had some paint on his bandana, but it's okay. This guy's been through the mill. I probably should buy a new one. The person I got this from beat it up pretty bad, so I'll probably buy a new one. But it's it's still, you can tell it's a really well done figure. There's nice sculpt and shading in the hair. There's nice ponytail movement, so that's nice. The harness is all soft and it's not actually connected anywhere, so it's not going to get in the way of posing, so that's always nice. The paintwork on the harness could be better. This part looks okay, the silver and gray, but the red, all of these metallic reds that they did, they're kind of hit or miss. The shoulder pads are a big miss. The uh, forearm things are okay. Those are nice. The gloves are nice. The boots are all over the place. We have some pink here, some red here. It's just kind of not the best. So the quality control is not the best, but he still looks really good. The gray uh, shading on the skin, it's not the best again, but there's still something about it that I just like. I, I don't know what it is. If you're looking for a technically well-made figure, this may not be the one for you, but there's still, at least for me, something about this guy that makes me really like it. The head is on a ball uh, disc, so it's got the up and down and the side to side, no problem. Shoulders have this butterfly joint that goes up and down with the standard ball hinge, bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, Wrist swivel, no wrist swivel, wrist pivot, and a hand pivot, so he can do some nice gripping. Mine are stuck, but they do uh, technically work. Decent ab crunch. Goes down pretty far, so that will be good for posing. How far does it go back? Not so far, but that's okay. And the harness, again, does not get in the way at all. It can either tuck in or just go like that. No problem at all. Really like that. Waist swivels there. T-jointed ball hinge hips. Thigh swivel, double jointed knee. There is a boot swivel and you're going to need it, at least on the other side. This side lines up pretty well to keep the leg straight. When you line this side up, the foot goes way in, so that kind of sucks. Maybe mine's defective, but I don't think so. There is an ankle pivot and an ankle rocker and some nice sculpt work on the boots. So again, technically, objectively speaking, it's not a real great figure. 
but subjectively speaking, I really like this guy, and I think if you're a Marvel Legends collector, you need to get an Omega Red for your collection. So there it is, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more figure reviews, custom figures, and other good stuff. And in the meantime, keep collecting.